Global markets taking a fresh Brexit pounding on Wednesday. Britain's currency falling to a 30-year low as investors get the familiar sinking feeling that economies around the world could be in for a rough time after Britain voted to leave the EU. Asian companies like Toyota that are major exporters to Europe sliding in the gloom, with Japan's benchmark Nikkei index falling more than 3 percent. When we got in this morning, Sterling had already, already fallen to $1.39 and then looked away and looked back and he was down another cent. It's not often you see markets move that quickly that fast. Uh, so it was, it was scary for a while there this morning. It's really bad for the world economy at exactly the wrong moment. There's been a sudden panic in the Italian banking system. Uh, which is, is totally underwater with debt uh, and whether they're going to be able to bail that out or not. And, and that's kind of all added to sudden worries that this Brexit thing is never going to go away. And it's not just Europe and Japan where the outlook is darkening. China's premier said it could be hard for the world's number two economy to hold on to economic growth projections, which are already below 7 percent. China's yuan currency is now hovering at five and a half year lows. Investors have been expecting central banks to ease the pain of Brexit by further lowering interest rates. But with rates in most countries near or already at historical lows, authorities are running out of options. Now investors are searching for the safest place they can park their money, from U.S. Treasuries to gold. And even if Brexit fears fade from the daily headlines in the next few weeks, experts say volatile markets are sure to be reignited by worries over the future of the European Union as a whole.